Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Featherweight World Tournament at the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 Cruiserweight. Uh, it's a 90 kilogram fight coming up here with Animo Koji and Akira Jr. Uh, Akira is uh, of uh, Filipino and Japanese descent. We're going to see what this uh, fight is going to look like. Interesting. Yes. We've got some big boys in the ring now. These, these are, are big boys. Not as big as the 120k we saw before with the super heavy weights, but this is a nice, nice interesting weight category. That was a good low kick to start off with. Not bad at all. He's 186 centimeters tall, so he's fairly tall for these guys. Yep. I like this cruiserweight class. You see strong, fit guys, but you still get that feeling of the heavyweights kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting balance. Oh, 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 what a beautiful kick. Look at that. No clear damage done, but it's just like the timing mm. of it was perfect. I loved it. Nice. Akira Jr. has actually been throwing a lot of low kicks here in the first minute. Already, yeah. yeah. I'm ready. A minute. Mm. That was a big shot. Ooh. <laughs> With these guys, you never know what can happen. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's still train 90 kgs power. Oh, that was a good shot. Hmm. He's actually taking advantage of that right, straight right and also the good low kick. So he's actually putting a lot of stuff yeah. together here. Yeah. It's kind of cool to see. Nice. Hey, you see that straight right coming over the top there? Yeah. Yeah. He's using his height for sure. That's pretty nimble here. Of animal. Yeah, <laughs> animal could be doing that. Rolling. Yeah, <laughs> wow. It's amazing muscles on, on the animal Koji there. And, and heavy punches for both of them, I guess. When you think about it. Yeah, it's... Uh, Seems like Animal Koji is a little bit frustrated with the height difference. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I mean, but they're, they're, they're doing their thing for sure. Again, another low kick. Even if he's blocking it, he's still smacking that, mm. you know, calf there. So, oh, see? Mm. That straight ride coming over the top has been coming in a lot in the first two minutes here. Definitely connecting there. No, it's got the potential to knock yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. It really does. Because he hasn't really reacted to it and he keeps throwing it, so you know, it's just one of them hits clean, and then there you go. Like Ooh, good combination there. Nice. That actually hit him in the face. Mm. Why did he walk into that jab? So both fighters are kind of doing a lot in that first round, which seemed to go quite fast in this uh, cruiserweight, 90 kgs, yeah, interesting weight. Yeah, Animal Koji really tried to go for it at the, at the last 10 seconds, you mm. know, he was really trying to get his, uh, his last couple punches and kicks in there. That's the talk, wow. that's the punch I was talking about. And, wow, and a, and a really high kick too. Yeah, unfortunately high the high kick never really connected, there was a hand between his club. Sure. But, I mean, if he can sneak it up there and get him in the neck, that's a knockout kick. Yeah. I'm more worried about him having not so good defense animal Koji because that's straight right. And it's not even a straight right. It's kinda like a it's kinda like a curved punch that comes over his left hand. Like almost spit like turning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like just popping it over, you know. Um, but he's connected with it a couple of times. Yeah. And that punch clearly has the knockout potential. Let's see if uh, Animal Koji can can uh Keep up his uh, defenses yeah. and see what aggressiveness he can bring in round two. You can say Akira Jr. is using his heights really well. Good job. See, again that mm, punch. Mm, mm, mm. Again. Hey, wow. Comes from really a high position. And you say, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I told you. 
see, that's it. I told you, man. I told you. This was gonna happen. I saw that coming from round one. It's like, did you see the unbelief on uh, Cody's <laughs> face? It's like, what just happened? Yeah, but... My goodness. Seriously, I mean, you... Yeah. You need to protect yourself. And he wasn't putting his guard up, right? No. When, when he should have been. There's the winner, Akira Jr. And letting us audience know... Wow, okay. It was just a question of time. Coming from above. That was a that was high punches. Wow. And Koji. Just this look of shock on his face when you sit, when you like. There it comes. Boom. See? Right. And, and he, he hit them. That was like the third or fourth one wow. he did within the first like 20 seconds of the second round here. Wow. It was just a question of time before that was going to knock him out. I'm telling you. Great punch. Actually, it's straight to the mat. He yeah. saw it, he tested it out, and then yeah, he, he, he kept he, all the way through with it. And there you go. Well played, Mr. Akira Jr. So, yeah, he's 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 at like champion belt and like some local um, associations and kickboxing. So, this is going to boost his career. Yeah. Uh,大阪から来ました、秋田ジュニアです。まず初めに、え、アニマルセッシュ、え、対戦していただいてありがとうございました。And I hope he does, yeah, with, with a nice knockout like that. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan and the K1 Featherweight World Tournament. That was the K1 Cruiserweight fight. The winner there was Akira Jr. and Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.